<laughs> I had a bit of a nightmare at the weekend. On Instagram, I showed a picture of a um, carrot cake with frosted topping. And I've did a video of it. And I was chatting away to my mum, as you do, and I deleted it. <laughs> Got it. Anyway, so I don't really want to make another one because I did really enjoy it, but we've only just had it, you know, and it's like, oof, I don't want another one. So I'm going to do a different version, a different one, but I shall tell you how to make, at the same time, um, the one I deleted. <laughs> so I've just done this one. Which uh, that's for tomorrow's lunch, which I've put with some salad. Um, which is lunch ideas, quick, easy, and tasty. I think I called it, and it is like a. Um, Jason tried it actually. He's home now. He tried it, and he said it does taste a little bit like um, 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 bubble and squeak. <laughs> cool. um, which I thought it tasted a little bit like bubble and squeak as well. Um, he said it could have done with a little bit more seasoning, so be really heavy with the, with the seasoning um, if you're just going to do the vegetable version, alright? So that's that. So what I am going to do is a dessert to go with that. I'm going to spray a glass bowl, microwave safe, and what I'm going to do is get a mug. I'm gonna get some courgette about what have I got here. I'm gonna grate my courgette. So I've already used this to go in there and I use just um just under half so there's there's a just there's about there's about half a courgette here which i'm gonna grate up do you know that's the second time i've done that deleted a uh, video dvd i nearly said <laughs> dvd uh, a vi video it's so blooming annoying it's like, ah! well, there you go i hope you all had a lovely weekend i had a terrific weekend um, back home in, in Taunton, it was really nice. Um, so there we go. There's our courgette. I'm gonna pop the courgette in the pudding bowl, and then to that. I know this is gonna be sweet, not savoury. Stay with me. Oh, I got some carrot in there. Not that it matters. Right. So courgette. So the courgette. I'm going to add three teaspoons of granulated sugar. So the the sweet the sweetener, you know. So three teaspoons. I'm going to put my kettle on and I'm going to make up some coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Any old coffee, don't matter what you use. Hang on, I need to put you in the dark a minute while I change my plugs around. What's that one in there? So, a teaspoon of coffee. And then I've got some um, caramel natural flavour. And I'm going to add some of that.
teaspoon then I'm going to add some natural yoghurt So I'm just going to put my coffee in there, give that a little stir. So I didn't put a lot of water in there, so it's like a really thick espresso. And then I'm going to put my coffee in, and I'm going to add... Which you need to sin three quarters of a cup of self raising flour and two eggs. These are quite big eggs, as I said in my other video, if you're watching that one. Oopie. Um, so if you've got, so that's quite a big egg, I think. If um if you've got small eggs then use three eggs maybe. And then ever so gently stir that round and mix it all in together. You want to make sure you get it all combined because you don't want any flour that's not mixed in. Now, if it's a little bit thick, just add a little bit of water to it. It shouldn't be, though. Okay. It smells lovely. Wave. Do you know what it smells like? It smells like, um, yeah, yeah, it smells like, um, you know, um, Angel Delight, the butternut scotch whip, that, yeah, it smells just like it. It's that caramel, I think, and the coffee that's making it, um, smell like that. Right, six minutes, then check in the microwave, 800 watt. I popped in Lidl's, mum went to Lidl's in Taunton today because I was telling her about the raspberry gin and um, they didn't have any so um, she texted me and she said I can't get it <laughs> so I popped in our Lidl in Torrington on the way home and um, I picked her up a bottle it is so lovely if you like gin I guarantee you're going to like this it is really really lovely um, it's 11.99 um, but I think it is a bit difficult to get in some stores um, but yeah it is lovely if you can get hold of it and they're also doing a rhubarb and ginger one at 11.99 as well so it's, it's yeah it's a good price I think it's a good price and that's for uh, 50 sales yeah yeah it's very nice Shame it's not Friday. <laughs> I'm not allowed gin unless it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. So get yourself down a little. Right, yo, it's out. There we go. 
we go. So, if you were going to do the carrot cake version, what you would do is you would put, um, instead of courgette, you'd put carrot, grated carrot, and then instead of the coffee and the um, caramel thing, you'd put in spices, so um, cinnamon, that sort of thing, and um, what else did you put in? Cinnamon, carrot, oh, and some sultanas, you could put some sultanas in, that's what I put in mine. And then for the frosting, it was um, the cream cheese. Um, so about a quarter of a pack of soft cheese lighter, you know this stuff. And um, to that I put some cinnamon and a two teaspoons of um, icing sugar. I made that, but that's optional. I made that into like a frosting to go on top. So I'm just going to go around the outside, around the outside, like that, where's my, um, oh, let me just dry that, I bet that's stuck in blooming water like something there, no, let's dry that off. It's already out. Didn't take any cokes in, did it? There we go. Right, let's just check that that is. That looks a bit underdone to me. I think that needs to go in for a bit longer. Easy enough. And I'm going to pop that back in for another couple of minutes. I think it needs eight minutes. I think I'm underestimating it by six. So let's do a couple more minutes. And then while I'm waiting, all I'm going to do for a little bit of a topping on it, I'm going to take some um, of my low fat cheese, low fat cheese, honestly, low fat yogurt. caramel to that taste everything. That's better. Right here, yeah, so that can wait for the pudding. So we're out again. So we'll try it again. Don't want to come out this time. Come on, you monkey. There we go. So we're going to let it stand now. To cool down, nice. And um, once it's cooled, we do a little taste test. 
So I've cut myself some of the sponge pudding and it's still nice and warm. I'm just going to put on some topping. So there we have it. I'm going to try it and see what we think. Because I know there's courgette in there. I'm trying to think. Don't think courgette. If I didn't know there was courgette in there, I wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't taste it. You wouldn't know. You really wouldn't. Hmm. It's like the, I can't taste the coffee very much. I think if you like coffee, I would put more coffee in. I'd probably put um, three teaspoons of coffee in and make that up into a, to a you know, into a paste or, or a syrup. Um, but I can't taste this. I could taste the caramel. Mm. I like it. I'm not eating it all. <laughs> I'm so supposed to be a taste test. Sorry, I was getting a bit carried away there. I think it's very nice. I like it hot. I'm not sure what it'll be like cold. Equally as nice, I imagine. But yeah, I like that. That is nice. Hmm. Different. Very nice. Quick and easy to make. Tasty. Hmm. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, stay friends, and catch you next time.